Hello students, uh, welcome back to Objective Render Programming Exercise. Uh, we are going to start the exercise 1. In this we are going to have employee information as first program by A category, exercise A category as a employee information. Uh, in this we are going to get the or assign the value for employee ID, employee name, salary, department code with a different data type and we are going to print the value. For that I am going to start the project. Uh, we are going to start the new project, Java application, then proceed next and we can say EMP project, uh, PRG uh, for example, it is a, uh, we can say PRG1 for example or we can say PRG and I am going to say finished. So in this project we are going to assign the value for all uh, employee details. So here in the main method, uh, I will assign the value for employee code. So let us see, look into the variable employee code. All this we will just uh, have here for our understanding. So what we are going to do is, we will uh, go for employee ID. So employee ID can be for example integer or long or short. It's based on our uh, use only. Let me for example say as a long uh, for employee ID. And the employee name can be a uh, string value. So I say string employee id employee name how we are going to say uh, every word should be assigned as a um, capital letter and the starts with small letter so i assigned employee small and name as a capital and uh, salary i will say as a double value and uh, for the department code maybe for example uh, we can say um, double, okay. Employee code I can say for example, sorry department code we can say for example integer okay so I will say department code like this code C capital or we can also use uh, underscore okay so for all these we are going to assign the values so assign value employee ID for example uh, 10,000 for example employee name for example you can say uh, Mr. Uh, Ali Ahmed for example, I say uh, salary. For example, I am assigning uh, 750 uh, 500 by the, For example, like this, employee code for the department code maybe he is working with 100 department and uh, it may be represent uh, any department name. Okay, or otherwise, we can also assign in a string, it's based on our use only. Now, I am going to print all the values so system. Uh, dot out out dot print line print line i'm going to say id the same way we can uh, use uh, for other variables that is employee name or we can also copy paste in order to avoid the mistakes or do it in fast way okay so same thing we can copy system dot out dot print line and we can change this one as to salary and the last one is uh, department code we can copy so employee code so we simply assign the value and we ask it to print the value this is our exercise one and now we can execute and fill the result so whatever the value assigned uh, all are printed in the next next line for a while, I am just uh, thinking to print in the same line. If you say print only, if you say print only, what will happen? Uh, it will be printed in the same line. Let us execute and feel the result. See, it is printed in the same line. So, print will print in the next line. Uh, sorry, uh, print will uh, print in the same line. Print line will print in the next next line. So, if you want to give space, we have to add some space here for our understanding. Uh, <coughs> tab space for example if i am going to give tab space and we can concord in it so in the same line uh, if you want to print with the tab space okay so one not uh, in the same line it will give the tab space uh, using uh, slash t with the, it will print in the same line but uh, there will be a gap given tab space uh, given here okay so this is uh, how we are going to work with the print and print line. So print line will print in the next line. Print will uh, print in the same line. If you want to give any space, we can use a space tab space here. Okay. Now I will go for the other example. Okay. Create a program to display store or shop information such as uh, 
the shop code, uh, name of the shop, uh, branch, uh, sales amount, product and uh, price and other, other detail, whatever that we want. Just let us take these variables. Let me put here, okay. And for our understanding, we can give a gap here. Uh, maybe I'll put one uh, line for our understanding here. One line, I put it in uh, uh, print uh, statement or print line I can make. It will print in the next line, okay. And then uh, we can start the next example, uh, part B. So code, how we are going to decide? So can be any long or integer, or for example, let me say integer code or string code also you can have. So name of the store, uh, definitely we need in a string. Name of the store and uh, the branch. You want to say in a name or a string. Okay, let us uh, branch name. Maybe so hard branch, enough branch, something like that. And uh, sales amount, we can say. Uh, double okay sales amount if you go to say sales amount and uh, you can also go for calculations okay you can also go for calculation or we can directly assign the value so what is the product name so product name usually comes with the string okay and uh, what about the price of the product so uh, we can say double is the product price and uh, we also need to know the quantity so without quantity we cannot uh, get the sales amount so i will say integer or double maybe quantity quantity so uh, within this uh, we can make a, a simple example maybe i will say here um, the uh, shop code maybe i say um, 500 is a shop code name of the shop for example I say Lulu uh, branch I equal this music. branch is for example I say Sohar okay amount we can calculate uh, let us decide the product name okay so uh, product is for example I am buying Apple okay so Apple price is for example 850 by the so I say 0 0.850 and then quantity I uh, buy for example 1 kilo or 2 kilo something ok so uh, now we are going to calculate the sales uh, amount what is the sales amount if you are, there is a discount also we can calculate the discount amount but uh, let me just directly uh, find the sales, sales amount what is that uh, it is a price and the quantity multiplication of price price uh, multiplies with quantity is the price ok so we can also go for printing all these uh, values so system dot out dot print line you know about print and print line so whichever that you want we can make i'll just copy paste uh, many times as for the need so let me take first of all the code here i'll print the code next one i will go for uh, name of the bra shop then branch the next one is um, product product not products product I will have okay and as soon as a product because only one product I have um, next one is uh, the uh, price uh, next one I will have um, quantity next one I will uh, print the uh, amount sales amount okay let us execute here okay so it will print all the details uh, given i could have give this one in the next line uh, here okay let me put one more uh, print line here so that this line will come in the uh, this is printed in the same so let me print one more print line here for uh, printing this one in next line okay so execute this so this is uh, the already uh, available information related to information uh, what you call employee information next one i put uh, for uh, store information so store uh, code is 500 store name is lulu uh, branch is soha uh, product is uh, for example apple i say uh, price is um, 850 and uh, 2 kilo so 2 multiplies uh, 8.5 is uh, sorry 0.85 uh, is 1.7 okay 
if we want we can also concatenate all those detail here okay for example i say this is a code uh, i will put it in the double code okay for our display information okay we can uh, concatenate the value this is concatenator operator okay so we can say code plus uh, some space i gave here and we added the actual code what is assigned the same way we can say uh, this is uh, name okay name of the uh, uh, what do you call the store next one is branch branch plus so we can uh, arrange this way for our understanding okay next one is product name product name plus i say like this so we can also move this one for our uh, arrangement of the code uh, this is uh, not mandatory but uh, it looks good when uh, people come to read it read the program okay so next one is price so we can say price or product price so i will say plus this way okay next one is quantity quantity I'll put like this and uh, this is amount to be paid or amount okay so we are uh, arranged the code like this okay if you want we can also give all uh, in the same line so that it will be printing in a good uh, format okay I will just put like this so it looks good okay for uh, easy reading so you, after you did the code uh, you can uh, read it in a better way okay so also the output is uh, going to show in a better way so okay i'm just adding it like this and now i'm going to execute this one you see code is this uh, 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 store name is this branch product name price quantity and the amount to be paid okay so it is arranged in a good way okay you can also give to a separate title or anything any arrangement uh, based on the print line we can give okay so this is all about our exercise one thank you very much for watching this uh, video i will share this uh, code in the e-learning